Hey, what's up? Ben here from blogwithben.com. And in this quick tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to put your WordPress site into maintenance mode without using a plugin. This will allow you to essentially block outside visitors from seeing your blog while you work on it. So instead of your WordPress content, when someone visits your site, they'll see this maintenance message, which can be edited, and it allows you to repair, service, fix, or update your site without your audience seeing it. This can come in handy if you're making major changes to your site that could potentially change the user experience or even break something. By having the maintenance mode page up, you can rest assured that your audience will only see what you want them to see while you work on your blog. And I realize that this maintenance page is somewhat basic, but by creating this manually, like we're going to in this tutorial, you aren't having to add another plug into your site, which could open the door to potential problems and security risks. Now, really quick before we get started, if you find this video helpful, I would love it if you would like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Blog With Ben YouTube channel. Doing so helps me keep this channel going and growing, and it allows you to stay up to date with all the videos that come out in the future. Either way, thank you so much for all your support. All right, with that being said, let's create a maintenance mode page without using a plugin. Now, a couple of things to keep in mind while we're doing this is that I'm using Bluehost web hosting with the free Kale WordPress.org theme. So if you're using a different web host and theme, the steps to create the maintenance mode page could be slightly different, but I'm positive that you can still find your way around by using this tutorial. Either way, if you have any questions or need some extra help, just leave a comment below the video and I'll do everything I can to help you out. Plus, I'm gonna show you two ways to accomplish this. One way will be on your WordPress dashboard and the other will be in your file manager within the back end of your cPanel. But rest assured, this is a really quick and easy task once you know what to do and where to go. So first things first, let's create the maintenance page using the WordPress dashboard. So go ahead and access your dashboard if you're not there already by hovering your mouse over your site title in the upper left hand side of the screen and clicking on dashboard. Then in order to make the necessary edits, we're gonna to need to access the theme file editor and add some code to the functions.php file. And if you're new to all this, no worries. I have a code cheat sheet where all you have to do is copy and paste the code. So to access your themes files, hover your mouse over appearance and click on theme file editor on the left hand side of the screen. And I should point out that if you're not seeing this option in your WordPress dashboard, I'll show you another way to access it in a few moments. Okay, so what you're looking at right now is your theme file editor. And if this is your first time here, let me give you a quick rundown. The built-in theme editor allows you to view and change code within your theme. The file contents are displayed on the left within this large text box. Then the theme that's being edited will be displayed in the upper right hand side of the screen within that drop down menu. So make sure you're editing the correct theme before you make any changes. Finally, directly below that is a list of the theme templates and style sheet files that can be edited. And this is a child theme, so you won't see too many here, but we're only concerned with the functions.php file. Now, a word of caution though, you'll wanna be very careful when you're editing PHP files. The editor doesn't make backup copies, so if you introduce an error and it crashes your site, you cannot use the editor to fix the problem. So be very careful as you're making changes. I'm not trying to freak you out though, we're only copying and pasting code, so you'll just need to be sure that you're pasting exactly what I show you in this tutorial. Okay, so the file we want to edit is the functions.php file. So go ahead and click on it, and that will open the file where you'll be able to see its contents on the left. Then as I mentioned earlier, all you're going to do is add some code to this file. And to do that, you'll need to access my free code cheat sheet, which I've linked to in the show notes below the video. And to access the show notes, simply click the show more link below this video. And this will open the show notes where you'll be able to find the link titled code cheat sheet. Now this example of the show notes is from a different video, but I'll have the code cheat sheet link under the video description. Then once you click on that link, it'll take you to the code cheat sheet, which is what you're looking at right now and is a Google Doc that will contain the code needed in order to make our maintenance mode page. And all you're going to do is simply highlight it and copy it. And I'm on a Mac, so I'm pressing Command C on my keyboard to copy the code. And then head back to WordPress. And within the functions.php file contents, 
place your cursor right before that PHP in tag. And the in tag is that question mark and greater than symbol. So place your cursor right above that and paste the code from the cheat sheet like so. Then within the code, you can actually see the message that will appear on the maintenance page, which will say, working on my blog, will be back soon. And this is just some placeholder text that I put in there, but you can easily edit it by changing the text here. And for this example, I'm using a food blog, so I'll just have it say food blog instead of blog. But again, you can add whatever you'd like, or even maybe have a time frame or date when your site will be back online. Then once you've added the code and edited the display message, click the update file button to save your changes and make them live. And after a few seconds, you should get a file edited successfully message. Then if we visit our site, you'll see that since you're still logged into WordPress, you could still access your content and make edits. However, for anyone that isn't logged in, they'll see the new maintenance mode page. And the way to test this is to view your domain in incognito mode or a private tab, depending on what browser you're using. I'm using Chrome, so we'll open an incognito window by clicking the three dot icon in the upper right hand side of the screen and then select new incognito window. Then if we put our blog's domain in the browser, this allows you to see what anyone who isn't logged into your WordPress site will see. And perfect, our code is working within the functions.php file and the maintenance mode page and message are displaying. Perfect. Then once you're done doing whatever it is that you're doing to your site that requires the maintenance page, you'll want to take it down. So all you're going to do is remove the code from the functions.php that we just added. So back at your blog, you'll want to access your WordPress dashboard if you're not there already. Then on the left hand side of the screen, hover your mouse over appearance and click on theme file editor. Then select the functions.php file. And within the file contents, simply remove the code that we just added. Then don't forget to click the update file button. And once the file has been successfully edited, the maintenance mode page should not display anymore. And if we revisit the incognito window and refresh the page, the maintenance mode page and message no longer appear and your audience can access your blog again. Next, let me show you how to achieve this in the back end of your control panel. This is for anyone who can't access the theme file editor in WordPress, or maybe you just want to learn something new. Either way, here is how to access and edit the functions.php file in your control panel. Now, as I previously mentioned, I'm using Bluehost web hosting. So if you're using a different web host, the steps to access the file manager may be slightly different, but I can assure you that the steps we're about to go over should be able to walk you through the process regardless of what web host you're using. So the first step in the process is to access your file manager. And in Bluehost, this is located within the advanced section of the customer portal. However, some web hosts have it in the site tools section, or if you're just using cPanel, it'll be located within the files section. But in Bluehost, we'll want to open the advanced tab, which will bring us to the control panel. Then from here, you'll see the file manager within the file section. So go ahead and click on that icon there to open the file manager. And this will bring you to where all the files for every one of your sites are stored. This is like the skeleton of your blog. All a website really is is a collection of files and code. So this is like the back end, back end of your blog. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is access the public HTML folder. And this folder is the web root for your primary domain and it's where all of your files will be located. So the first thing you wanna do is open your public HTML folder. So click on that plus icon next to public HTML 
and then we need the theme files. So next, we'll need to access the WP content file. So click on the plus icon next to that one to open the file. Next, you'll want to open the themes file. So go ahead and click the plus icon next to that to open it. And from here, find your themes file. It'll be named whatever theme you're using. So for this example, I'm currently using the Kale Child theme. So double click on that to open up the file. Then on the right hand side of the screen, you'll see all the file contents. And look what we have here, the functions.php file. So in order to edit it, if you're using cPanel, you'll need to right click on the file and this will open up some more options and we want to edit it. So click edit. Then you'll probably get a prompt telling you to back up the original file before making changes. I actually recommend doing this if you're making major changes. However, we're just copying and pasting code. So if you follow along exactly as I do in this tutorial, you'll be just fine. So go ahead and click the edit button. And then on the left hand side of the screen will be the PHP code of the file. This is the exact same file that we edited in WordPress. We're just accessing it in the cPanel. So the steps will be the exact same as well. Simply place your cursor right above the PHP in tag and paste the code from the code cheat sheet. There we go. Then feel free to edit the maintenance mode message if you'd like. There we go. Then once you're done, click the Save Changes button in the upper right hand side of the screen. And after your changes have been successfully saved, if we head over to an incognito window again and enter our blog's domain, the updated code within the functions PHP file is working and visitors will now see the maintenance mode page and message. Then once you're ready to take this page down, Back at the functions.php file, you'll simply remove that snippet of code that we just added like so. And save your changes. And there we go. Then if we head back to our browser and refresh the page, the maintenance page has been removed and visitors can now access your blog. So that's gonna do it for this video. If you found it helpful, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Blog With Ben YouTube channel. Also, now that you've started your blog, check out these two videos on email marketing and blog monetization. They'll help you grow your audience and earn a passive income with your blog. And as always, your support means a great deal to me and my family, and for that, I thank you. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next video, and thanks for watching.